Hi folks, my name is Jeremy Strutch, the founder and lead maintainer of Netbox. And in this video, we're gonna be going through the custom status choices feature that was introduced in Netbox 3.2. A quick caveat before I jump in, I'm gonna be using the beta one release of Netbox 3.2. So if you're using this at a later date, the final product should, might look a little bit different than what you see in the video. However, the base functionality should remain the same. Uh, so custom status choices were introduced under uh, feature request number 8054, Netbox 3.2, as I mentioned. And basically this allows a Netbox administrator to define arbitrary choices for certain status fields for different objects in Netbox. Uh, let's look at the site object here for an example. So if I go to create a new site, uh, you see under the status field, I have several options. The default is active. I can also choose planned, staged, decommissioning, or retired. And these are, statuses are defined uh, out of the box from, by Netbox. But if you wanted to use a different set of choices, for example, let's say we just wanted to track uh, this, the statuses of open or closed. Uh, we can do that now in Netbox 3.2 by defining the uh, configuration parameter. And that is the field choices parameter. So I'm gonna take this uh, and move to my IDE here where I'm running the Netbox development server. And I'm just gonna add this at the top. I'm gonna define field choices as a Python dictionary. And this is going to map uh, model fields to an iterable of choices, the custom choices that I want to show up in the UI or the API. Uh, we can look at an example here in the configuration. And this is using the site status field, just like, like we just looked at. Uh, the key here identifies the field, and this is formed by concatenating the uh, app within Netbox, in this case is DSIM, where the, where the model lives, the model name, uh, capitalized to match the class, and then the name of the field, which in this case is status. So if we define that in our IDE, we're gonna make a string, and it's gonna be dsim.site.status. If this was something else, uh, for example, if it was um, rack status, it would be dsim.rack.status, as you'd imagine. And then we're going to create a tuple. Now, this is a uh, tuple, of, well, I think Django refers to it as a, a tuple of two tuples or something like that, where basically every entry within this tuple itself has to be an iterable uh, with at least two values and possibly three. The first two values that are required are value, which gets stored in the database, and then label, which is a human-friendly text uh, representing that. And that's just basically to get uh, things like capitalization and punctuation, and things that make, to make it look nice for humans, whereas the, the database value is typically going to be just a raw minimal string. Uh, the third option, or the third value rather, that could be optionally included is a color. And we'll take a look at what that looks like. So let's say that we just wanted to find statuses of open and closed. We can do that. Closed and open. All right, I'll save that. Uh, I happen to be running the development server down here in my IDE, so you can see that it refreshed automatically. Uh, if you're not doing that, you might have to refresh it manually just to, uh, to have those changes take effect. So let's go back and refresh our page now. Okay, so now if I go to add a site, I'm getting given only two options, open and closed. We see that open is the default because it first appears first in the list. Um, let's see, I'm just gonna add site one real quick, status of open. We'll go ahead and create that. There we go. Now my status here is shown as open. If I go back to my list of sites, you can see everything else is oh, the sites that I had in here previously with the active uh, status. Now I just show the raw string because there's no longer a corresponding label for that. Uh, but we here uh, at the bottom, we see site one with the status of open. Uh, I mentioned earlier that we can optionally include a color with this. You see everything right now is just gray. It doesn't look great. Uh, if we go back to the documentation and scroll down a bit, we can see that the following colors here are supported. Uh, let's go ahead and just use green for open and red for closed. That seems to make sense. And we do that by simply uh, adding a third value in each tuple here. So we're gonna call this one uh, open is green and closed is red. All right, we'll save that. The server restarts again. And just take a second for that to come back up. All right. Now, if we refresh our, or we can go back to the site here. All right, we see now that it has the nice background color of green. And if we change that to closed, now it's red. There we go, that's exactly what we wanted. If we go back to our sites list, 
Notice that all of the previously defined sites that still have their status set to active are just grayed out. This is not considered a valid choice anymore. Uh, however, closed appears with the red background as we'd expect. Uh, so that's one option of implementing this feature. However, uh, what if we didn't want to replace what's there? What if we only wanted to add something else, right? Let's say we wanted to add, uh, we wanted to keep the um, active and, and um, staged or whatever the, the default statuses are. But let's say we just wanna add one extra one, um, we're gonna call it foobar. Uh, red's probably a good color for that. Um, and we just want to add this additional foobar status to everything else that all Netbox already um, includes. To do that, all we have to do is add a little plus sign at the end of the key there. That tells Netbox, hey, instead of replacing what you have already, just go ahead and add uh, the, the entries below to what's already defined. So now we go back here to uh, our site addition form. Uh, again, we've restarted the service. So now again, we're seeing our original entries in here. And then at the end, at the bottom, we have foobar. So I create site two, and then I go ahead and submit that. Now we see foobar is our status for this. Uh, and that's it. That's pretty much all there is to it. It's pretty simple. Uh, it provides a lot of flexibility and it is currently supported as far as the, the status of the beta right now, this might change in the future, on uh, pretty much every or just about every model that has a status field. Um, we might extend that to future mod uh, to additional models in the future, but that's still kind of to be determined. So for right now, it's uh, basically just limited to the status field. But as you can see, um, it provides a lot of flexibility. And also note that because we added foobar at the end now, our active status is, is green again, so it's, it's considered valid again. Uh, hopefully, hope you've uh, found this valuable and informative, and uh, keep an eye out for additional vet, uh, videos on new 3.2 features in, in the future. Thanks.